Hey you two, Gabrielle Hempel here, also known as Gab Smash on Twitter. I'm a senior security analyst and I love using my background in neuroscience and psychology to analyze the behavior and work of hackers. When we hear infamous, we usually think of a villain, one of the bad guys, and we can look at cyber attacks in the same way. There are quite a few infamous attacks that have happened out there. History tends to have a way of repeating itself and it's caused quite a bit of chaos for the companies affected. Let's take a look at a few of the worst attacks from the list you definitely do not want to be on. Attack number one, Target. Black Friday and shopping season often bring out the worst in people, and it seems like the same kind of goes for the cybersecurity industry. In 2013 and again in 2014, over 100 million Target customer credit cards were compromised. This ended up happening due to credentials being stolen from an authorized vendor. However, it could have been attributed to Target not segmenting the system's handling payment card data from the rest of the network. At the end of the day, Target shot out $18 million in a multi-state settlement, which honestly is probably what I spent in an average trip there. In order to mitigate this kind of attack, it's important to segment and separate proprietary data, i.e. healthcare or payment card data, in order to prevent easy compromise if the network as a whole is breached. Attack number two, Facebook. Political corruption is present in many fields and information security is no exception. Cambridge Analytica, which is a British political consulting firm, came under fire after breaching 30 million user records. Not only did they damage Facebook's reputation with this technical faux pas, but they leaked information way beyond your normal personally identifiable information. The Federal Trade Commission imposed a $5 billion fine on Facebook for a settlement, which is not a good look for one of the biggest social media platforms. The lesson learned from this attack is that it's important to vet any third parties that you use and make sure you know who has access to certain information, what the information consists of, and what is being used and stored. Attack number three, Equifax. One of my favorite things to remind people is to patch their systems. They usually roll their eyes, but it can become a huge issue if it's not done, as discovered by Equifax. Equifax, one of the nation's largest credit reporting agencies, discovered a security hole early on in 2017, but they failed to patch their systems. This resulted in a huge breach of information of 147 million people, including passports, driver's licenses, and social security numbers. The company agreed to a settlement of $425 million in order to rectify their shortcomings. So, like I said, patch your stuff. Attack number four, Sony. Perhaps one of the most infamous, the attack on Sony in 2011 left many people's accounts and personal information vulnerable. Hackers stole data and banking information from roughly 77 million PlayStation users via a distributed denial of service attack, which is a DDoS attack, and shut the PlayStation network down for 23 days. This isn't the only issue that Sony has had in the past. Um, we've had malware attacks attributed by our government to North Korea that were carried out and exposed sensitive information in 2014. DDoS attacks can be tricky to prevent against, but leveraging strong network architecture and having a solid incident response plan for when these happen is a great start. Early detection is one of the most efficient ways to prevent an attack like this. While these attacks seem major, the same types of things are being carried out daily against many large corporations and even smaller companies. It's important to be aware of the types of attacks that are being leveraged and how to prevent them so that you can stay off of a list of infamous attacks like this. You've got to know that hackers will take the path of least resistance to cause you the most damage. CompTIA put together a guide with seven simple security tips that can save you a lot of pain. Check out the link in the description to learn more.